maxillary and mandibular anteriors using a number one plate. We're gonna place a plate in the barrier using the state block. So on your plate, on your number one plate, you have the A, which is your orientation. For placing the plate, once it's in the mouth, the A is gonna always be on the incisal edge. The number one plate has a sensitive side, the blue side, so we're gonna protect the blue side with a barrier. So you're gonna place the A where the adhesive is, the blue side towards the black side. So the A is gonna be where the adhesive is, slide it all the way down, and then you're gonna seal it. So it should look like this. A where the adhesive is. Now we're gonna place the A into the slot. The bite block has a slot right here. That's where you're gonna place your plate with the A in the slot. So the A is down in the slot. Make sure the plate is in the center of the bite block. Then you're gonna place a piece of tape to keep it in place. So it should look like this. You're gonna mark your bite block in the center. And this is gonna be your guide. This is the middle of your plate. So depending on the patient, you can leave it the bite block in one piece or you can break it off depending on the patient's occlusion. So this is this this one here, yeah, I broke off the bite block on the edge, and this one I left it on, depending on the patient's occlusion. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the placement in the patient's mouth. So I'm gonna show you the placement of the anteriors. So we're gonna center the bite block in the interproximal of number eight and number nine. So the black side's gonna go towards the teeth. We're gonna place the bite block bring it up against the teeth, place it in the interproximal of eight and nine, and close it gently. So this is our guide, making sure that it's in the center of eight and nine. This is your central view. I'm gonna show you how to find the bisecting angle of the central incisors. So we're gonna look for the orientation of the plate. That's your first angle. Then we're looking for the long axis of the centrals. That's your second angle. So that forms a triangle. We're gonna cut the triangle in half and that half is gonna be our bisecting angle. So this is our bisecting angle. We're gonna parallel the collimator to the bisecting angle. So remember on the arm's gonna go behind the patient and then on the tube head, the focal spot up. Now we're going to parallel the collimator to our bisecting angle and this is our vertical angle. Parallel. Then our horizontal angle, place it against the buccal surface of the teeth to the collimator. This is the horizontal angle. Okay, now we're gonna look at the bottom of the collimator to make sure that we cover the plate. So our plate is here. So we're gonna double check that we're covering the plate. Then you can close to the face without touching the patient. Then the center of your collimator, you're gonna make sure it's in the center of your plate here. The angle from a different angle. So orientation of the plate, long axis of the centrals. Then we're gonna cut that angle in half and that half is gonna be our bisecting angle. Now we're gonna parallel our bisecting angle to the collimator.
This is your vertical angle. This is your vertical angle parallel. Vertical angle parallel. Then this is your horizontal angle. Place it against the buccal strips of the teeth and the collimator. This is your horizontal angle. Then we're gonna look at the bottom of the collimator to make sure that we cover the bottom of the plate. In the center of the collimator, you have to make sure it's in the center of the instrument. So your central ray is going to be in the middle of your plate, making sure the bottom of the collimator covers the bottom of the plate. You can bring it in closer to the patient's face without touching the patient. Now we're ready to expose it. After exposing your central incisors, now I'm going to show you the placement of your lateral. Remember on the collimator here, this is your central ray, this is your guide for the horizontal angle, and this is your guide for the vertical angle. Okay, so our guide, the marker, we're going to center it on the lateral. So bring the plate close to the teeth, centering the marker on the lateral, and closing it gently so it won't bend inside the mouth. Okay, now we're going to find the bisecting angle. So we're going to look for the orientation of the plate. The long axis of the lateral, and that forms a triangle. Cut it in half, and that half is our bisecting angle. We're going to parallel the collimator to the bisecting angle. So this is our vertical angle, parallel, and this is our horizontal angle. We're going to parallel that. Making sure those two are parallel. Then our central ray is going to be in the center of our plate. Making sure the bottom of the collimator covers our plate. So I have to bring it up. So that should cover our plate. Making sure the bottom of the collimator covers the bottom of the plate. Now we're ready to expose it. So now I'm going to show you the canine. So make sure that you change the plate. It should be your third exposure. So our, I'm going to place the bite block in the center of our canine. Make sure it's in the center, bring it up against the teeth, close it gently so it won't bend the plate in the palate. Now we're going to find our bisecting angle, looking for the orientation of the plate, the long axis of the canine, and that forms an angle. We're going to cut that angle in half and that's going to be our bisecting angle. Then we're going to parallel our bisecting angle to the collimator. This is our vertical angle. Make sure those two are parallel. Then we're going to find the horizontal angle. Place it against the canine. And this is our horizontal angle. Make sure those two are parallel. Making sure the central ray is in the center of our plate. Then we're going to look for the bottom of the collimator to make sure that we cover the plate. Now we're ready to expose it. 
So we've done the maxillaries, and I'm going to show you the demonstration of the lowers. So the first one's going to be the incisors. So we're going to place our marker between number 24 and 25, the incisal edge. So you're going to move the tongue out of the way. You're going to place the bite block in the center of number 24 and 25. Bring it as close to the teeth as possible and close it gently. And verify that your marker is between 24 and 25. Now we're going to find the bisecting angle. Make sure that your marker is between number 24 and 25 in the interproximal. Now we're going to find the bisecting angle. So you're going to find the orientation of the plate, the long axis of the incisors, and that forms a triangle. We're going to cut the triangle in half, and that half is our bisecting angle. Now we're going to parallel the collimator to the bisecting angle. So this is your vertical angle. Make sure those two are parallel. This is your vertical angle. Make sure those two are parallel. And this is your horizontal angle. Make sure those two are parallel. Then we're going to look for the central ray to make sure it's in the center of our plate. And double checking that our collimator covers the plate on the top. So that should cover the top of your plate. Now we're ready to expose it. Now I'm going to show you the placement of the canine. So we're going to center our phosphor plate with a marker in the center of our canine. So double check that the marker is in the center of your canine. Now we're going to look for the bisecting angle, the orientation of the plate, the long axis of the canine, and that forms a triangle. We're going to cut the triangle in half, and that half is our bisecting angle. We're going to parallel our collimator to the bisecting angle. This is your vertical angle. Make sure those two are parallel. And this is your horizontal angle. Make sure those two are parallel. Your central ray is going to be in the center of your plate, making sure that top of the collimator is going to cover your plate. And that should cover your plate. Top of the collimator covers the plate, and then you're ready to expose. So this completes the lab demonstration for the anteriors on the right side. Bisecting technique.